All I can say is, wow, I was just as shocked as everybody else. We finally made some threes. And when they came, they came in bunches and they pushed the game away. Really happy to see that because we shoot the ball in practice more than anybody in the country, I guarantee you, on working on shots. And we haven't been rewarded until this game. You mentioned the threes at the new program record. 19, I believe, is the new program record. Uh, broke a 20-year-old program record. Um, I, I mean, I don't know. How you. How do you just – that was that was just one of many things that went right today. So, like, how do you even sort of, like, like explain what happened? I think it's just the hard work paying off. Like I said, I was really shocked because I felt like this was going to be one of my best shooting teams this year from how we shoot in practice, and it just hadn't carried over into the games. And, um, you know, you just the work that we continue to put in, the confidence that we give the guys to take those shots, we made them today. Got to assume you thought, here we go again after the first half. Got to assume you thought that, did you? Well, I always give everyone the respect. You know, they were off for a week. And they're a good team, you know, especially at home. You know, they're going to they're gonna play, feed off the crowd. So I, I expected it to be like a dogfight. I didn't expect for it to be a blowout. Again, we don't make those threes consecutively. Still a close game. We got hot. But obviously I want to be further away uh, in the first half, but I just knew it was going to be a dogfight every time you come here. 63 points in the second half. It's the most points you've scored in a game. Memphis has scored in a game since 2001. Um, not many people have seen a showing like that before out of, out of, the, out of the top. Yeah, this, you know, when we recruited in the portal, we recruited a lot of guys that have over 1,000 to 1,500 points. They all came together. And when they can get it going on any given night, then it looks like this. We've got a lot of guys that are very capable uh, of doing this, you know, at a high level. They've done it on their previous team. So, you know, it's just we're blessed to have this group. Uh, the three-point shooting just finally showed up today. Has JQ played like his last four games? Have you ever seen anybody put together four games? Like he tied a career high with 11 assists today, and this is after the back-to-back game winners and plus the 26 points. The yeah, no, I mean it was to me it was going to be hard to stop or to top a lot of the things that Kendrick Davis did last year, but JQ is doing some special stuff, you know, and uh, he has a string of games together uh, that are second to none for sure. They scored 13 or 15 points in a three and a half minute stretch in the second half. Uh, like out at the beginning of the second half, three and a half minutes he scored like 13 points. Yeah, we've seen that before because he's done that all season. He, he's a guy that can get going. You know, he kind of early in the season he was really hot, and then as soon as we got in the conference, he's kind of cooled down a little bit. But today it took us back to the days when he was he was extremely hot early in the season. found something with this today? I hope so. It felt really good. And I think the guy's confidence has gone through the roof on, um, on after a game like this because of the flow of the game and how they played. And they're all still getting very comfortable. We have 14 new guys on the team that weren't here last year. So they're still getting comfortable. And when they, when they play like they did today, it looks really good. What can you say about Jaquan coming back to Wichita State? You know, Jaquan has been, he's been paying his dues all year. He's just kind of sacrificed to be one of the guys. And uh, I know he wanted to have a great game here. We ran the first play of the game for him. He came out shooting, very familiar with the, with the building. Uh, and shoot around yesterday, he barely missed. Before the game, he barely missed. And then when the game starts, he, he barely misses. So, had a great game. We talked a ton earlier this season about, and, and, and have for a number of seasons, about a lack of respect and stuff with the polls and that sort of thing. And, you got to think with what has gone on around the country the last week, uh, you guys have a pretty good chance of getting in the top ten. How, do you, how, does that, how, do, how does that land with you? No, it makes me feel good because, you know, since I've, I've been here, I've always kind of had something to say about where we should be ranked when we won a certain amount of games. And uh, being a team that was last four in for the last couple of years, trying to fight, 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 to finally scrap our way into the polls and uh, to continue to win, uh, it feels good that we'll keep climbing up, climbing up the ladder because we're we're earning that. And with the, the defense, I thought you guys did a good job of 
penetrating and forcing that help. What, can you kind of speak to a lot of assists? What did you guys do a good job of to find those cracks in WSU's defense? Yeah, well, we created, uh, we created triggers, what we call triggers, to get into the paint with the screens, kind of how they did in the first half. And Javon was just relentless, you know, with getting into the, the paint and, uh, and kicking it out to shooters and us knocking down shots. So second half, we talked at halftime and uh, just made a conscious effort that we were going to just live in the paint and, uh, and try to get layups. And then, you know, we have an opportunity to kick it out to open guys and we knock the shots down.